Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, we're going to cover one of the most requested subjects here on the Ecamm YouTube channel, and that is the Stream Deck. Now I know what you're thinking. The Stream Deck itself is not exactly an Ecamm feature. However, we are so highly integrated and we do support it. Many people use Stream Decks and so people wanna know more about Ecamm Live and the Stream Deck. I'm here to show you how to do it. I'm Doc Rock, your community manager. Let's dive in. What exactly is a Stream Deck? This is a Stream Deck XL. It is a 32 button keypad that allows me to press these keys and have them interact with whatever I'm doing here on Ecamm Live and many other programs on your computer. The Stream Deck also comes in the standard version with 15 buttons and a smaller Stream Deck Mini with six buttons. Basically, at the end of the day, coming a little closer, I'm going to let you know in a little magic secret. Sorry, magicians, I hate to blow it for you. It's not that magic at all. The Stream Deck is just a keyboard. It is a gorgeous keyboard with nice buttons that you can completely customize. What it really does is replicate keyboard shortcuts that you would use for a program. So rather than having to remember all of the keyboard shortcuts, you can just set this up in any layout you want to do those keyboard shortcuts when you press a button. For instance, if I reach over to the Stream Deck and press this, I get a whole nother scene. This scene allows you to see me work the Stream Deck as we talk. If I press the button next to it, I'll get this scene. I did this by pressing a Stream Deck button. One of the other things I could do is press the last scene in my little setup and show you the Stream Deck configuration, which I'll be showing you, well, how to build these scenes. So by pressing these buttons, I can easily interact and run my show without having to remember the keyboard shortcuts. So let's dive into that configuration thing I was talking about. Here we are in the Stream Deck configuration session, and this is almost exactly the standard Ecamm layout. I've made one minor adjustment, and that is my tweet button here. If I were to press the tweet button at the very beginning of my setup, it would send out a tweet. We'll discuss that later. But let me show you how we configure the Stream Deck. Let's say instead of having three scenes, I want to be able to show an overlay. Stream Deck can also show overlays. All you do is look in this long list of commands that we have already provided for you. So that way this makes it extremely easy. And instead of running a scene, I want to say show hide overlay. I could just pick this up, drop that in and give myself the opportunity to show an overlay. In my particular case, I want to play an animation. So I'll drop that in, click on this button here and I'll select the animation that I wish to play, which is the lower third. So if I go back to my beginning scene here, Hello guys, if I press the button now, it brings up the lower third, reminding you that I'm Doc Rock, your community manager. Very simple, very easy. Now, going back over here, this is cool, but I wanna dress this up just a little bit. I am gonna reach over to my desktop. I'm gonna pick up a PNG file and drop it on. This PNG file allows me to make the button even prettier. And now I have a nice little LT. So without looking too closely, I can tell when I'm pressing the button that allows that lower third to come up. Let's make one other minor change. As you can see down here, I have these little speaker icons, which allow me to play a sound. So I can look in my situation here and say, hey, I wanna play a particular song. What would I play? Let's see. Let's grab the Ecamm Fam Jam, why not? So all I have to do is when I press this button, it will play, pause, restart, or loop said song. I'm gonna just leave it at play stop. And then one other thing I'm going to do is make it easy for me to know which is which. I'll drop in the icon for the Ecamm Fam Jam. And now when I come over here to Stream Deck and I know it's a little hard because of the camera lighting, if I press this button, it starts to play the song for the Ecamm Fam Jam. Simple as pie. To make it stop, I just press stop and then it no longer plays that. I have others if I want to and pop the DJ horns. When I'm ready to make that stop, I can just press the next one. If I want to stop mid, I can press stop in the mid. It is pretty much that simple. If I want to bring up the lower third again, I press the button and the lower third plays. 
That, my friends, is the simplicity of the Stream Deck. Let me show you one more thing before we go. Let's talk about multi-actions real quick. If I double click this button, you'll see I've created what's known as a Stream Deck multi-action. It's going to play a sound. It's basically the Twitter bird sound. It's going to send out a tweet. And I have basically put in the account I wanted to go to, what I want my tweet message to be, and then an image. I attach the image. You don't really have to do that. I have it have a small delay. And after that delay, it will show or hide an overlay. I come in here and select the overlay that I want. I can select on Twitter. And once I do that, if I were to press this button, I'm not going to do it because it's going to actually send a tweet. It will do the sound, send the tweet, and then all of a sudden this graphic would show up on screen as you notice up there in the top. As you can see, with a Stream Deck, Ecamm Live, and a little bit of creativity, you can take your live shows, your recordings, your webinars, your presentations, your conference calls to the next level. Couple of presses of a button, and voila, you can make it do just about anything. Remember, anything a keyboard can do, the Stream Deck can do it for you. This has been another Feature Friday. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. Oh yeah, press the Stream Deck. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, drop those in the comment section down below. Of course, you can request features that we haven't done like this. See, the requests actually work. We're paying attention. Or you can reach us at marketing at ecamm.com and for support, support desk at ecamm.com. I know right now YouTube is going to pop up two more videos that they think you should watch, and I tend to agree with them. Come <laughs> on.